New at 4.30, a trial delayed yet again for John Pulos of Franklin, who was facing femicide charges in Colombia for the murder of his Colombian DJ girlfriend. Pulos pleaded not guilty back in September. CBS 58's Yukari Nakayama joins us with what we know so far. Yukari. Yeah, Natalie and Bill, yesterday marked nine months since Valentina Tres Palacios was found dead in a suitcase. Her uncle speaking out today after Pulos fired his lawyers, yet again claiming they haven't been transparent with him. John Poulos initially was not present in the courtroom today, claiming his lawyers told him he didn't have to be, thinking it was a preliminary hearing. I thought this was just a procedural hearing, and just as in other, uh, in past hearings, my attorney said I didn't need to attend. He told the judge he would like to be physically present for trial. He claims his lawyers did not act in accordance of the law, and the judge granted that dismissal. But this isn't the first time Pulos got rid of his lawyers or even a translator. Carlos Tres Palacios, uncle of the victim, believes this is a tactic Pulos is pulling to delay trial. We see it as he's making a joke of the Colombian justice system. He's trying to manipulate the justice system to avoid the trial. Before Pulos fired his attorneys, they argued against the femicide charge, claiming the death of the DJ was negligent homicide on the basis that drugs and alcohol were present in the case. Pulos could face up to 50 years in Colombian prison for alleged femicide. That after his DJ girlfriend was found dead in a dumpster in January. Surveillance video showed Pulos leaving a room he shared with his DJ girlfriend with the blue suitcase. Police say the suitcase contained the body of Tres Palacios. Carlos shares what justice looks like for his family. Nothing will bring Valentina back, so what we want more than anything is that he pays for the crime he committed and how he committed it. Secondly, we want to set a precedent to end femicide all over the world. The judge says Poulos is expected back in court December 4th or 5th in the newsroom. Yukari Nakayama, CBS 58 News.